Hey guys, Bidu here back with another video. This is the final phase of my uh, strength training and uh, marathon phase. Uh, typically phase 6 of my entire one year outlaw tactical hybrid athlete training. Uh, to kick off, uh, the plan was made to run approximately 4 to 5 days a week with a mix of long runs and intervals and tempos. And I have sort of ditched the bench, squat and deadlift to give my nervous system a break and then using more of push-ups, more of high repetitions, lighter weights on uh, the other movements like accessories. Uh, this is typically your high rep shoulder movement, the shoulder shocker. Uh, more uh, specific leg work, more, uh, more balance oriented, more stability oriented. You see I'm using Bulgarian split squats, again 8 to 10 reps, not going too heavy, not going to failure conserving energy for uh, the runs more specific lower body training uh, more posterior chain more hamstrings to safeguard the knees uh, i love this variation with the swiss ball it's quite difficult uh, initially but then once you get a hang of it and you get stronger uh, this will really burn your hamstrings and it's really good for your knees because you're working hamstring curls in hip extension it's a hip thrust with hamstring curl. Uh, some more uh, back extensions just to build endurance for the lower back especially the uh, the you know run based uh, endurance style uh, training to sustain the long runs. Again more specific lower body training with the uh, calf raises, the tibialis, the smaller muscles that are involved in running just to get bulletproof and strong all over not just the compound movements now the training has become more specific uh, more tapered in the final month the core training has kept has been kept similar to what it has been anti-rotation movements anti-flexion anti-extension uh, lateral flexion uh, typical footage of my runs in between uh, when i used to take a break uh, in during my tempo runs to grab a bite to have some water and then go again and hit that pace that was given to me by my coach more uh, strength training you know the approach was not to go till failure you know typically use 670 to 80 percent load at the max and uh, hit maybe three or four reps short of failure just to just to get the blood flowing, just to get, you know, you know, pump the muscle, uh, maintain muscle. One of the best exercises for stabilizing the knee is this touchdown squat. I learned from Squat University, Dr. Aaron Horshik. More core work with a Swiss ball. The approach towards the marathon training was the first two uh, weeks were uh, typically uh, the longer runs. Uh, they were... Uh, you know going going beyond uh, the 20 kilometer runs and then finally you know we tapered in the last month nutrition was paramount a lot of calories in a lot of lot of uh, electrolytes in a lot of hydration it was humid in bangalore even in uh, september so you know after running that 30k uh, i realized that i need better hydration to avoid cramps during the runs so uh, more and more water and towards the end it was more uh, more electrolytes in typically a liter uh, two liters uh, every day in the last three days and i really felt the difference the weight training was typically planned uh, in more of a upper and a lower body day and uh, four to five movements at the max of each day uh, and then uh, at times uh, i also had to run in the evenings uh, when training in the morning so the fuel had to be on point so more and more calories the and more and more protein uh, i was hitting at around 3000 to 3500 calories in a day weighing in around uh, 6 uh, 74 kgs uh, throughout i didn't lose weight i uh, i was i started at around 75 and then uh, roughly at around 74 was where i was in the last week uh, you see typically not using a, a high threshold high nervous system uh, movements more pull-ups more push-ups uh, used to wear a hydration vest and used to keep gels towards the end of the marathon prep used to uh, 
ensure that I have these uh, during the, the race as well. And uh, I was using Fast and uh, Up, Choco, Bourbon, and it was nice. And, uh, you know, typically in the last two weeks, I actually felt faster. I was hoping I, was, I would get around uh, um, under, uh, you know, sub for uh, marathon time. But uh, <laughs> life had other, other plans for me, but then that's okay. Uh, yes, I went hard on the arms um, because they recover quite quickly. More and more uh, back extensions to stay upright in the runs. And uh, this was typically a very light squat workout in the last week of the marathon prep. Uh, and uh, this is scenes at around 3.30 a.m. in Kantivira Stadium, Bangalore. And uh, the run started in the dark, uh, ended in the light. This is the last lap, maybe last uh, two to 300 meters. Uh, great, great atmosphere. Uh, I couldn't achieve sub 4, but then 4.15 is nice. I am quite happy with my first marathon. Uh, there was no cramp, but yes, I took uh, multiple breaks around uh, five gels. I took at 8, 16, 24, 30 kilometers and uh, 36 as well. Overall, simply uh, love the journey, love the effort and the feeling after. Uh, if you guys are up for the challenge, go for it. It will change your life. Thanks for watching.